a beautiful Norwegian girl is just another victim of the cult that is the vegan diet. Cornelia Grimsmo has been a vegan for over five years now, and she has become progressively more sick and depressed over this period of time. She recently opened up on her Instagram about being ill for over one month now, going in and out of the hospital as well as doctor's offices. But where did this all start? In her Going Vegan video, Cornelia reveals that she watched the vegan propaganda documentaries uh, such as Cowspiracy, Earthlings, Blackfish, Vegetated, and Forks Over Knives. Not only are these vegans not doing any research on their own, they are being tricked by these documentaries that use fear-mongering, lies, making up statistics. So she developed her ideas from these documentaries, that she's saving the animals because she is no longer killing them, or so she thinks. But the reality is that trillions of animals are killed and displaced in conventional agriculture in general, regardless of whether you're eating plants or animals. She regurgitates the conventional wisdom that meat is bad for you, saying it has saturated fat and cholesterol, causes heart disease and diabetes, and of course, that milk is for baby cows. But we know what the true cause of disease is. Refined foods, sugar, especially vegetable seed oils. We have lived free of disease on meat-based diets for thousands of years, and suddenly we are getting sick with modern agriculture, yet people are still convincing themselves that meat is the problem. Last but not least, she says that meat is bad for the environment due to the energy and resources required to produce it. Total agriculture is 9% of carbon emissions, 3% of that being animal agriculture. So to grow plant foods, we actually use twice as much energy as we use for animal foods. But vegans will have you believing the opposite. Not to mention, things like driving a car, taking a flight, and traveling are far more impactful on the environment than eating meat. This is the argument that people take for granted, but it is not true at all. Unfortunately, this is all information she has heard from the documentaries and has been parroting it without looking into it herself. And this is what all vegans do. They build lies on top of lies that actually have no basis. There's a video on her channel where she was out in Los Angeles filming a commercial and they brought a lion on set and she wasn't too happy about it. You know what happened is that they brought a lion on set, which is obviously not okay. When I first heard about it, the first thing I wanted to do was just run home, but I kind of signed a contract and I was in it already and I didn't know what to do. So I'm trying to make up for it now. I felt sick and I started crying and I felt uncomfortable and I'm, I was I felt trapped and pushed into a corner and I was obviously kind of angry and upset. If they told me, hey, we're gonna have a line on set, I would not be a part of it. And I got actually sick to my stomach to think that I got paid to um, make this animal suffer and to use an animal to sell up freaking product it's absolutely it's not worth it is it doesn't make sense to me we were standing in this huge crowd and people were like laughing and making jokes and it was like super cool to have a line on set very like the hangover or whatever and i just wanted to scream okay people this is not cool it's absolutely not cool to take advantage of a, a poor beautiful animal to sell a product Oh, these exotic animals, even if they're um, born in captivity, they still have their physical and social needs. They are not met at all. They're supposed to like be able to run free and mate and hunt. And, and obviously when they're not able to do that, they get aggressive and uh, depressed and stressed. Just like animals become aggressive, depressed, and stressed that they are not following their natural lifestyle, the same thing happens with vegans. Depriving a human being of animal nutrition is cruel and evil. Yes, animals should not be in captivity, but if a lion was in the wilderness, it would act upon its wild instincts and do things ranging from uh, killing you to stealing your food, uh, perhaps even running away in fear. 
if vegans cared as much about humans as they did animals, uh, perhaps the slaves picking their vegetables, the world would be a better place. Humans are suffering, and that should be our priority before we look at making every being on this planet happy. But the truth has come out here. All vegans are simply cute, cuddly animal lovers. Wink, wink. And don't actually think about the big picture. Uh, let's take a look at another video from several years ago. Note her complexion and energy levels. Love those marks you get on this side when you wear sunglasses. It's summer and sunny and I'm super happy. And now a more recent video. Good morning guys. I'm gonna attempt to make a vlog today. I'm not feeling very well, but we'll try. So I'm very hungry and I'm on my way to the store. So I'm just gonna write a grocery list in my bullet journal, the brain dump bullet journal, the brain dump bullet journal. Get yours down below. Um, mm, mm, mm. She has lost her youthful glow, complains about being tired. She's developed under eye bags that she didn't have before. I'm gonna chug this through the entire video so I hope it doesn't bother you too much. I do find it a bit funny that she is eating watermelon in Norway. Perfect example of not eating indigenous to your ancestry. Overall, I've tried to watch her videos and maybe my brain is wired a little differently than hers uh, because when I listen to them, she seems to be speaking a different language. She is a very impressionable young lady, uh, is into the law of attraction, uh, meditating, manifesting anything you want. Uh, so she's definitely a bit out there, uh, but I do envy the ability of these people uh, to make long videos talking about nothing that get plenty of views. She does sell a bullet journal called Brain Dump, uh, which I think is a genius idea as vegans have such bad brain fog that their brain has essentially become a dump. Now, her life in general seems a bit typical of a rich girl pursuing acting. She doesn't seem to have a job outside of YouTube. Uh, she travels all the time, does whatever she wants. Uh, so I'm assuming her family has money and is supporting her to some degree. I mean, especially considering in half of her videos, she looks like she's living in a palace. All of this stuff ties into how easy it is for someone to get stuck into the vegan ideology. Uh, you have all of these things we've been told our whole lives. Meat is bad for you. It destroys the environment. Uh, you're abusing animals, and these people eat it up. Yet, they haven't been exposed to anything contradictory in their lives, let alone conduct the research on their own to find this contradictory information. Overall, the reason I'm making this video is because I am amazed that she doesn't look like a completely emaciated corpse yet. Obviously, she has aged fairly rapidly and looks much older than she did several years ago, but I think she still has a chance to recover from this death diet and get some animal nutrients back in her body. This is very unlikely to happen because vegans don't attribute their depression, mental illness, lack of energy to their diet. It seems like they would rather be in a grave than harm any animals. Getting attached to this idea leads them to not questioning their beliefs. Open-mindedness and objectivity are two things people don't usually have. It allows the person to constantly rethink and reconsider uh, whether what they're doing is right or wrong, uh, the best thing for their life. Many of these vegans lack those skills and it takes the end of the world uh, to bring them out of the vegan diet. Some of them take it to the grave. Uh, some of them see two dozen doctors that say they should eat meat and ignore them. Uh, some of them lose their periods. Some of them become infertile and get menopause. But the extremes of what it takes to get someone off of a vegan lifestyle is nothing short of a cult and insanity. I hate to see this happen to young people that have so many opportunities to look forward to. And they are being impaired by their mental performance, physical well-being, as well as moral limitations. This will continue to happen in the future as long as the vegan diet exists. Until veganism is looked upon as something that is unquestionably harmful to humans, we have to keep fighting their agenda. What's interesting about this is, 
I've actually come across quite a few of these girls uh, that are very similar to Cornelia. They are incredibly pretty, beautiful, you know, tall, model-like, and they want to pursue acting and modeling, which seems fairly shallow and artificial, yet they care so much about animals and animal cruelty that they will stop the pursuit of that just based on that principle. It doesn't make any sense to me, and it has to be more than a coincidence that I'm seeing this happen so many times. Uh, there must be something in these documentaries, in these vegan propaganda films that is truly convincing to these people. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, recently we've launched Frankie's Free Range Meat, providing you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. So if you want the most affordable grass fed beef online, organ meats, raw cheeses, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We're also looking to do things in the future such as raw dairy, soy free and corn free eggs. So if you'd like to support the vision of those things, definitely check out the website. I've also launched Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, things like fluoride-free tooth powder, aluminum-free deodorant. So if you want to become the healthiest version of yourself, check out frankiesnaturals.com. Thank you again, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.